Rose Box is a food assistance program for families that have um, food insecurities. So, you know, they're struggling to have lunch foods available for their children to bring to school. And so we kind of just started, so myself as well as um, co-founder Ricky Lee, um, you know, we're both full-time working mothers. We have children of our own. You know, we couldn't imagine ourselves having to send our children to school without food. You know, we want to make sure that they're fed throughout the day. So, you know, herself and uh, her husband, as well as myself and then my husband, you know, we just kind of um, started up and, you know, said, you know, we need to help these kids. Um, we need to reach out to the community, look for any resources, donations, things like that, just so that we can make sure that, you know, the kids are being fed and they're, you know, not going to school hungry. That's, that's the main goal. And we want to, you know, have lunch foods that aren't, you know, just like snack foods or anything. We want to be able to give them the produce, the healthier things as well, just to make sure that, you know, their brains are growing and, and they can, you know, be healthy while they're in school. So we run completely on donations from the community. Uh, you know, being completely grassroots, it's 100% reliant on other members of the community to help us and, and to help us help them. Since we started, we've probably put in two or three times a week we're going out delivering, helping families, and dropping off bundles right to their homes. Uh, it's a non-judgmental program that we that we have. Like we don't want parents to not reach out just yeah. because they're maybe embarrassed or concerned that, you know, somebody will be called to say that they're, you know, not taking care of their children. I mean, that's definitely not something that we want to happen. You know, if you need help, you just reach out to us. No questions asked. We'll just, you know, deliver you the food. You know, we want to make sure that you're feeding your kids. So mm -hmm. we'll do what we can to help. Join our Facebook group. It's called the Lunchbox London. Join it and then you would reach out to uh, myself or Ricky. She's also on there. So you just send us a message and you just say, hey, I need some help. This is how many kids I have. And um, we just let you know that you're added to the list. We have a request list. So mm -hmm. we do go from top down. So the more earliest requests get the help first. Mm -hmm. um, but we do work down the list. We try to do it as quick as possible. But it always, of course, depends on how many donations we're getting in. So you just reach out for the help. You wait for us to message you. We tell you that there's a bundle available for you. We get your address, set up a delivery, and then we'll just uh, bring it to your door, basically. I mean, mm -hmm. if you can pick it up, some people do come and pick it up, which is great, but, you know, we we already assumed, you know, if you're struggling to put food on the table, you might not be able to pick it up, which is fine. Ourselves here, myself and Colin, as well as Ricky and her husband, they are also doing deliveries, so we're able to go anywhere in London and any part of London will just we'll deliver it to you for sure. So when you join our Facebook group, you have to do a separate message to me or Ricky. So it's not like you're posting on the Facebook wall or anything saying that you need help. You're just reaching out to me or Ricky. So we're the only ones who know who you are, mm. but we don't tell anybody, like we don't post it anywhere. Mm. We just talk to you directly in that message and then we set everything up with you there. So nobody knows that you've reached out to us. And the Facebook yeah. group is a, a, a private group. So yeah, it's um, not public, so not just anybody can see it. And people that are in the Facebook group, not everybody has uh, asked for help. People are in that group as well to help us. Yeah. Those requests that we get are completely anonymous, and we never share that with anybody. You know, we'll draft up uh, who those people are, and we'll mention the date that we delivered to them, just so we have a record that we've done it. Mm -hmm. But nobody else really knows who. We we have the amount of bundles that we put out, and we often share that. Uh, but uh, that's that's what it is. We don't want people to know. Yeah, like if yeah. we make a post, exactly. we'll say, "Hey, we did eight deliveries today," but that's it. Like we're not saying who we donated to, like right. who's getting it. Yeah. Um, and I mean, once I have your name on the list to get help, and then I reach out to you, you get delivered to. That name goes off my list. Like I don't yeah. keep any records. Mm -hmm. We Except tell them. The we tell them if yeah. you need. Um, future help like additional help after that because we do help people more than once um, of course depending on donations but your name goes to the bottom of the list so like you know new people would still be at the top um, but if you need help again you have to reach out again we don't just keep your name on a list mm -hmm. you have to reach out because um, for some people they need help one week but then maybe it might be four weeks before they need it again so yeah. we don't keep names on the list or anything to get rid of those so I mean our donations have slowed down quite a bit for the summer um, which is understandable, you know, some people might not realize we're still helping during the summer. Um, you know, some people are away on vacation, you know, our, our normal donors sometimes, you know, go to their cottage or
or whatnot. So, um, you know, we're, we're not necessarily expecting to have the same amount that we were having for donations. Um, we're hoping that people will start to donate to us again, help us get ready for the start of the school year, September. Um, we're going to be pushing as much as we can, like getting our flyer out there saying, you know, we want to build up stock so we're ready to go for, um, you know, the first just before like the weekend I guess it would be the long weekend before school starts we're going to want to deliver as much as we can so that at least for the first week those families that need it will have those lunches Mm -hmm. so So, uh, yeah September is coming up and and yeah we're we're honestly doing everything we can right now to try to secure donations for those families 280 and for context the bundle is uh, what we try to aim for is about four or five days of of food and snack items uh, that we'll bring and deliver right to the kids uh, or right to the the homes of the families that need it. I mean a lot more promotion as well so I mean I'm promoting as much as I can we have our you know flyer our logo Mm -hmm. Um, we're getting it out there as much as we can Mm -hmm. so I mean if other places were helping to promote us as well Mm -hmm. Um, because we're always looking for either like help with donations or of course promotion so that we can get the word out and people can be aware. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we do obviously have some challenges that come up here and there. Uh, the first thing that I think sticks out in my mind is uh, uh, cold space. I think it's something that we're working on getting right now, a second fridge. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the, like it's been working so far with what we have, but... It goes um, out so quickly, right? right. So. Yeah, when we get cold items or at least produce too, we really try to make sure that's delivered to a family within 48 hours because mm-hmm. it is produce, it's you mm-hmm. know, fresh. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we have a, a nice size fridge, per, like a personal fridge, and we've been able to hold everything no problem. Um, but, you know, if... Uh, if things I pick mean, up. Yeah, I mean, what we're hoping for is things will pick up, which will then make us need another fridge. <laughs> right. That's what we could, you know, only hope for. But also, um, like, the cold stuff that we are getting, you know, we, we just, we're not seeing enough, like, yogurt, lunch mm. meat, uh, cheese, you know, cheese, cheese drinks. Cheese drinks, yeah. Mm. Uh, so stuff like that and like perishables yeah. in general yeah those things are, are just so hard to come by and unfortunately they're very expensive so it, it's difficult and you know we have a lot of people that do want to help us we also have an Amazon wish list so mm. but that mostly gets us snack food yeah, right? like yeah. nothing cool but, which is great which is fine but that's always the stuff that we have the most of yeah because mm. we don't just want to send a family or drop off a bag of snacks we yeah. want to yeah. be able to have another bag with more you know cold stuff bread um, produce yeah. things to go with it we will we'll pick it right up from their house if need be preferably mm-hmm. obviously the best thing the easiest thing for us is to do drop-offs I work from home I can accept donations right to my house mm-hmm. and Ricky does as well uh, so uh, there's two locations that you can drop off yeah. and as far as um, pickups go uh, you know when we're going out picking up bundles we have a cooler it's full of ice packs so we can pick up we can arrange on our route to pick up donations or we could just pick it up at any given point um you know if yeah. if we're available we're going to make time and make that happen and we're, we'll come and get it because it, well yeah i yeah. mean because some people don't drive right yeah. so yeah. i mean of course but if they want to help they want to donate they want to take part we're not going to say no we'll just make sure we can go get those so we basically run everything from our facebook it's uh, called the lunchbox lunchbox is one word and then hyphen london um so you can join the group um and then you'd be able to like search my name alexandra everett or ricky uh, ricky lee featherston so um we're both the admins of the group or the co-founders of the, the only lunchbox. people as well that, mm-hmm. that would accept donations so you would reach yeah. out to one of us um and that's in the case of donations or if you need the help whichever yeah. one um but you reach out that way and then um you can just set it up if you want to drop off donations or if you want us to pick it up just reach out and let us know um, ultimately um, like that's the main goal is to do everything on Facebook just because it keeps things more organized for us but if there are cases where people don't have Facebook don't want to do it that way um, we do have an email address okay it's the lunchbox London so all one word at outlook.com okay. so if you send us over an email we'll get it right away if you did want to donate or um, and also if you need help too you could also do it that way 
Mm. Um, again, it is easier on Facebook to keep it all together, but yeah. You know. and, and we also have an Instagram account, uh, and the Instagram account could be a good source as well uh, for yeah. if you'd like to contact us True. and you use Instagram. Uh, you know? Yeah, it's just at the Lunchbox London. We have a TikTok account as well. We yeah. do have some videos posted there, so if you do want to see kind of how we do things, we've built we have videos of us building bundles or videos of us doing delivery. So um, yeah, if you just wanted to check us out there and see kind of how everything works. So the the thing that kind of started you know the wheels turning in my head to get this off the ground and, and do something is um, my son just started JK he was in school um, having lunch and there was a kid who was going around to other kids in the class asking to have some food um, I guess they didn't have any lunch and they were hungry and they were asking other kids for food so uh, when my son came home and told me that there was a boy who did that that's kind of just yeah what started everything because I just couldn't imagine you know having a kid in school with no lunch and going hungry throughout the day and um, you know it's not it's not to say anything bad about the parents or anything I mean that may have just been their only option and unfortunately that's the way it is for a lot of people right now um, you know even adults trying to feed themselves it is such a hard thing so um, that was what got everything in motion for me and made me want to kind of focus on the kids more just having my son makes me think of it that way um, and like same with Ricky's side of things as well she's got four kids and you know she you know that's a lot a lot to take care of and she understands there's other families out there with multiple children as well um, and they have to you know struggle to get their lunches for school so and you know, if I might, they, they collaborated via another Facebook group actually uh, called The Giving Tree. And uh, it was basically like, hey, we're thinking about trying to make something work to help some families out. Does anybody want to work together? And Ricky jumped right on board with that. And, and the two of yeah, them, there too. was actually, there was another person as well, but uh, she's had other life uh, things come up where she hasn't been able to participate. So really, you know, Ricky and Alex both took the helm and they really dedicated everything to it and it's super inspiring to see that um, so you know the concept behind it is yeah there's there's other resources out there but it doesn't always meet the needs and sometimes you can feel kind of judged by doing some of that stuff mm -hmm. you know some families just don't want to don't want other people to know that they need help yeah. but it's it's real I mean people, families are struggling right now and you know we're not a high income family but we know that we have an opportunity to help people and, and we just want to dedicate as much as we can to ensuring that we're helping the community out. You know, if anything, we wish we could do more, um, but you know, it's, it's, it's ta challenging and um, we really feel for those families that are, that are really hurting right now and um, it's not getting easier. So mm -hmm. we're just doing our part to try to help the community out and, and help as many families as we can. Uh, I think we're, again, we're seeing like 280 families now, so. Yeah, but uh, that's yeah. just, you know, barely a drop in the hat for yeah. what actually is out there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, we do what we can, but we wish, always wish we could do more. I just always feel like there's more, more, more we can do. So, yeah. But um, it, it's important to emphasize that we wouldn't be able to do what we have done and what we hope to aspire to keep doing without the help of other people who are willing to to put forth their time and effort and, and money really you know to to help us with those donations because we rely entirely on that in order to keep this project going it's just so crazy what things have come down to and at the same time you know when there is a struggle like this and we're seeing you know the the hurt that some families are going through just trying to choose between buying groceries and um, having you know, a roof over having their head, over their head. Um, and then seeing how much those families that we're helping really like appreciate and, and need mm -hmm. you know it's it's so rewarding and we know that a lot of the help that we get we can only give so much and say so much to say thank you but um, it's just inspiring to see everybody coming together the way they have I just I can't get over it you know we'll have somebody message us and say hey I'm 
going grocery shopping in 20 minutes. What can I get to help you guys? Mm -hmm. And they'll show up right after the grocery trip with a whole bunch of stuff and they've never met us. They just trust that we're doing the right thing. And, and of course, you know, we're, we're putting everything we can into this, but to see families and to see people in the community coming together like this, it's just so inspiring mm -hmm. and it, it keeps us going.